Hello darling viewers, hobbits, mermaids, talking lions. For anyone new here, you're watching the Les Amis vlogs. My name is Musiquetta, I'm a 21 year old woman, and not long ago, when I started my comparative literature degree, I moved from home to the best city in the world, New York. And that is what I'm going to be focusing on today, moving out. Because that's the biggest, most life-changing experience that most of us go through. And many, if not all, are completely unprepared. Especially when, like me, you move from a tiny town in the middle of nowhere to the Big Apple. It can be a little overwhelming. There's a lot of adjusting that comes with your new way of life, and it's definitely not an easy transition to make. So, for anyone who is currently going through that transition, or will be moving out in the near future, or just wants to remember what a messy business it is, I give you Keta's Moving Out 101. First of all, what might be at the same time the most scary and the most exciting part of your new life in a new place? Meeting people. I know how difficult it can get. If there's one tip I have to offer about meeting friendly new people with common interests, it's this. Go to that silly drama club meeting, or writing group, or book club, or sports event. I'm serious. Do it. What else would you be doing? And where else would you be sure to meet someone to talk to for three hours about the compared psychologies of Hamlet and Romeo, you nerd? Don't worry, I'm a nerd too. That actually sounds super interesting. Other places you can meet people? Well, you're either gonna have roommates, or neighbors, or both. If you have a roommate, don't sexile them for more than one night in a row, that's rude, and give plenty of advance warning. If you're the one who's being unfairly sexiled, put your foot down. You live there too, it's your right. In regards to neighbors, you're probably going to have a horrible neighbor at least once in your life. If you don't, consider the possibility that you might be the horrible neighbor. And if you are the horrible neighbor, find out what you're doing that's problematic and try and change it the best you can. When it comes to classmates, colleagues, and clients, some of them are going to end up being your best friends, and some of them are going to be genuinely awful to you. I am very sorry if you've already had to deal with that, and I am so sorry for those of you who still have to deal with that, but try not to let them get you down. They're not worth your bad mood. Call your family. I'm serious. At least every once in a while. Maybe once a week. Just because you've moved out doesn't mean they're not part of your life anymore, and trust me, it's gonna help with the hard times. Really, really try to get to know your city. It's gonna come in handy. For one thing, it'll make you a master of dates. And it'll help you not run late as much when you have important places to be, like classes and job interviews. Treat yourself to some new clothes, underwear, mugs, books, anything. Sometimes if you're studying or you just started working, you have to get yourself some nice stuff to feel good about yourself and your environment. If you don't necessarily have the funds to splurge, then thrift shops can be fantastic. They offer a great range of products, but for far less money than you'd find at other places. And about the shoes, buy good ones that are gonna last a long time. Hurting your feet or your back or having to buy new shoes all the time are just problems you do not need. And now for the more material, practical side of things. It's possible that you're gonna need to buy furniture when you move out. If you're one of those people, I have good news for you. Ikea is a wonderful playground and buying your own furniture feels amazing. Side note, you're gonna spend too much money at Ikea. Get used to it, move on. If you decide to take on the responsibility of a pet, remember that it's just that, a responsibility and a time commitment. Pets can live for years and years, depending on the species, and if there's a risk that you're going to give it up after a couple months, or hell, even a couple years, don't take it in. Wait until you can be sure to keep it. It's not fair to you or the pet if you can't. Paperwork can be a difficult thing to sort out if you've never done it before, so ask your parents, guardians, professors, anyone with experience to help you. That way you won't have to panic for 300 years over it, and I'm sure they'll have some tips and tricks that they'd like to share with you. You are going to inexplicably break a piece of technology at least once and have no idea how it happened. Only that it broke and you need it. So try to keep a little bit of extra money in your bank account for those emergency purchases that you might need to make. You will need to clean regularly, maybe more often than you were used to before. It's a chore, but you need to set up a rhythm so that you can do it effectively and not make it any harder than it needs to be. If you're lucky enough to have a machine that washes your dishes for you, don't put laundry detergent in it. Don't do it. Make your bed. It's not as hard as it looks, and even if you work up a bit of a sweat fighting with the fitted sheets, it is okay. Folding fitted sheets is a nightmare. 
Don't ask Bosway to fold your fitted sheets unless you're excited about spending the rest of the day in the ER. Yes, if you are a menstruating individual, you will have to buy your own pads and or tampons, or risk bleeding on every pair of underwear that you know and love. And the fitted sheets that you will then have to wash and fold and change. I have issues with fitted sheets. And that brings me to the list of things that don't occur naturally in your house like you thought they did. Because yes, when you move out of your house, you discover that things like milk and eggs and clothespins don't actually come with your place. You have to go out and buy them. Also printer ink, which costs a fortune. Same for tights if you wear them, and when they are unrecognizable because you've blown so many holes in them, you have to buy new ones. And socks. And makeup remover. Etc. Etc. All of these things, and sadly most things, cost money. But it's not all bad. Art museums, libraries, parks, dancing to the dumb music in the grocery store, staying inside and reading a book on a rainy day, sleeping all afternoon, pretending your commitments don't exist, all of these are totally free! And, like I said, you should treat yourself to them, regularly, to help deal with the new stresses that you're taking on by moving out. You are going to eat a lot of junk food when you first move out. Half of it's out of laziness, and half out of the fact that your parents can't tell you what to eat anymore. But that's not the healthiest of diets, so to help with that, I have compiled a few links to some quick and easy recipes for people who might not have many resources, or, like me, are extremely lazy. <laughs> I'll do a video demonstrating some of these recipes later on. Above all, take care of yourself. Please, please take care of yourself. Especially when studying, or starting a new job, or just in general moving to a new place can be so, so stressful. Get a good amount of sleep, even when there's no one to yell at you to switch off the light anymore. Eat well, stay hydrated, interact with people. Go for a walk, or a night out with friends, or to an exhibition for a couple of hours. Especially if you're living alone for the first time, and not with a roommate. Being alone all the time can wear down on your mood, so don't be afraid of asking people to hang out. They're not going to judge you, and the worst they're going to say is, sorry, I can't tonight. I really, really hope that these tips can help you and that your start of adulthood is going or will go well. Please, if any of you have more advice for moving out, feel free to leave them in the comments or message them to me on Tumblr. I'll be very happy to hear them, and I will try to spread the word to help others. Have the most gorgeous morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and stay beautiful!